What's up, guys? Back with another video. This is a Doc Martin with, uh, you know, I use the motorcycle background. You know, it came to me just randomly. I was walking. I was like, oh, I kind of, I want something to shoot. And this boom, looked at my feet. I like this. I like the style of the Doc Martin. So I wanted to try to see how I could communicate that, communicate that style that I think of when I see the, the Doc Martin. So I thought of edginess. I thought of, you know, I thought of metal. I thought of rock. Why not use a motorcycle? So you know, it's the same simple setup that I used to use. Transmitter, speed, light. I think I'd use one sixtieth of a second. iOS 100. Pretty simple setup here. Um, it was pretty dark, so of course when you play with darkness, you should use a, you know, something to make sure you get certain highlights to pop. This is a more darker subject. I kind of wasn't, my goal wasn't really to insinuate the features of the boot just yet this is more like just showing the style showing showing what's capable you know when wearing this shoe what's what's fun what it brings to the table <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with that but like you know of course you see me with the swivel you know that's my that's my stuff the swivel little touch screen so i ain't not messing up the not messing up the, the motion my, my, my uh, tripod's a little weird so sometimes I gotta just touch do the touch screen let it do its thing out of focus and boom I get a nice pick and like I said I did a couple shots you know basic shots something you can see on poster or in the on a bus what have you then I kind of went in tried to be a little more stylized You'll see me get low, and the thing about getting low on a on a subject and getting close with a wide lens, it kind of can throw portions of throw the proportions off with the boot, and it did. So I don't think I ended up using those later on, but we'll see that process later. You know, shoes are kind of are kind of they're simple, but you always want to make them attractive. Like it's not really a lot you can do with the shoe. You can get fancy, maybe put some string up, make them float, and all those kind of things. But for the boot. No, I just want to think about grounding it. I didn't want to think about it as this floating aspect or something that's it's flying. I want it to be to earth. You know, I think in metal. I think motorcycle. I'm thinking loud noises. So I want to keep everything really rusty and just put it in that atmosphere. And from here, you kind of see me trying to communicate the the lifestyle with the boot, trying to show the piece, not just sitting next to the the bike, but also being with the bike interacting with the bike moving you know touching pedals things like that sitting riding i wish i would have got a couple shots on the highway or something like that but hey soon enough we'll have that so from here i just played around got a different kind of dynamics outstretched close middle flexing the toe things like that and then you'll see me hop in the photoshop here bridge that's the cool shot of the shoe without the flash and you kind of see me just rejecting certain things maybe i didn't like the proportions like i said when it came to shooting lower or and also another thing you'll see is that i shoot i was shooting with like an 18 millimeter lens so it's pretty wide so and a lot of my finished products i crop those down and i like that's kind of my cheat when it comes to like using a non full frame camera it's just like you know I'm trying to get as much as possible I might have to sacrifice you know definition or closeness I can get but it's a, it's a kind of a cheat for me and I and I always I didn't in this in this in this situation I didn't want to make it a bike I didn't want to make it a bike photo per se so you can see how this is like a bike and then it's the shoe so of course I had to just cut those in zoom in a little and that was cool and you of course you'll see me here you know, I wanted to also do like a the e website, like a a commercial photograph, white background, something simple, something sleek. And you know, just playing with that. Of course, I'm outside once again, so I had to deal with the light. That speed lights on full blast, and my sheet's not super clean, so I have to deal with debris and wrinkles and and things like that. So I was trying to use the Gaussian blur. I think I ended up painting a lot of this stuff and just being subtle putting the paintbrush off like 30% of opacity just to you know give it subtle touches didn't want to overly paint um it was pretty outside's always pretty fun because it pushes you because you never know what you're going to expect elements bugs it keeps me on my toes I feel so you can kind of see me zooming in on certain aspects cleaning up backgrounds that's all paint 
clone tool and you can kind of see here where I'm trying to show those features now I'm trying to push features on the, the shoe I'm gonna show the bottom the laces the stitching because now I figure a white background to be on of course a website or you know a catalogs so there's so when you have to kind of bring the detail and be more meticulous of how you position the shoe it came out pretty cool in my opinion it was pretty fun I love the Doc Martin shoe I love the color this brown has and of course, some people, some people might be asking, why is it all nicked up? But I, that's something I like to bring into and into into items. I want to show, you know, what's gonna, what the shoe's gonna look like. It's gonna, get, it's gonna look beat up. It's gonna look, it's gonna, it's gonna show you what the lifestyle of the shoe is. And you know, these are a couple of pictures I have set up. They're pretty clean, and I enjoyed this shoot. So, if you guys got any questions, you can of course DM me. Whatever you gotta do. And also like and subscribe. I have more content on the way. I'm gonna have those college tips coming for you guys soon. Always trying to create, always trying to be better than yesterday. I'll see you guys later. Peace.